Hey everybody, it's Mike DeShazer here at Proof, and today I'm going to show you how to take a cryptocurrency that you generate on the Proof platform and put it onto an exchange outside of Proof. Now obviously, we have a marketplace where you can take tokens that you generate on our platform and trade them on our platform, but what if you want to move it off of there? And to, today I'm going to show you how to do that with Ether Delta. Now Ether Delta is a decentralized exchange, meaning you don't have to be approved by a central authority in order to, get, to trade there. And you can do it in a completely secure fashion and actually get the order book and everything going and, and, and tell your friends about it and get blow it up and and everything now the purpose of this is not to get, have a bunch of random coins well no one's gonna buy those but at proof our big thing is we want to see real estate on the blockchain we want to see fractional pieces of, of company equities and stocks and things like that as well as debt instruments securitized debt instruments all of that good stuff as well as you know funds and other things like that just any anything but real world assets and tokenized and put on a blockchain. So we want those exchanged on other places, not just in Proof, but uh, on Ether Delta and as more decentralized exchanges emerge. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And here we go. In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get your cryptocurrency generated on top of Proof onto an exchange outside of Proof. So this is an example of the Omize Go coin, and you can see many different coins here. I can just kind of scroll through. We're going to talk about how to get this whole experience so that other people in a decentralized fashion can trade your coin. Now, the first thing you'll obviously need to do is you will need a proof dashboard account. Uh, once you go to beta.proofdashboard.com, Make sure to check your account balance by going to account balances and ensure you have at least 0 0.03 Ether uh, because that's the cost that, it, that, that is required uh, by the Ethereum miners to actually uphold the network and keep everything going and to process your, the computational power for, for, for your contract creation. So uh, proof doesn't take any funds from, from this. Uh, from from that, but you just make sure you have that in your account. So, and there are many other ways to do this. I'll talk about. You, you don't actually have to use Proof to do some of this stuff. So, but I'll show you how to do it with Proof. So, you can go to the homepage and click. If you scroll down, you can click issue tokens, or you can do it like I just did from the side panel. So, I'm going to give this token a name, and I'm going to call this one Korea Coin, and coin pegged to stock market in Korea by XYZ fund. All right, and then I'm gonna make this a financial instrument and I'm gonna call this a community currency. I'm going to issue 300 million shares of this uh, and the price per token will be, I'll start it with $1. Uh, on this exchange, at least, and that's I'll get all those tokens for, uh, and then so there, there we go. I'm gonna do three million. There we go. Uh, great. And so then I'm gonna make it public, put it on the market, and I'm gonna use proofs generated ERC20 token. I'm not gonna put any legal agreements or anything. I, I then click on Ethereum as the blockchain of choice because this this will work only with Ethereum. Uh, so you can't select the proof blockchain or the other blockchains for this to work. Click create. It'll go through this process and lo and behold, you will have your confirmation. Uh, you actually you know, need to wait for a confirmation which can take anywhere from 30 seconds to, to two to three minutes. But I can click on Korea Coin here. And in Korea Coin, I can then go to uh, look at details and I can see my contract on the blockchain. So and now there's my contract. There's my smart contract. And so there's my smart contract. It uses safe math and uh, the latest standards to make sure everything's good. Now to get it added to Ether Delta. In order to accomplish this, you will need MetaMask. So you can go to metamask.io and you can download the Chrome plugin. Once you install that plugin, you'll have this little thing over here, this little, little fox looking thing. And if you you can't see that on my screen, but in your upper right-hand corner, you'll have a little fox. And when you click on it, 
it'll create this little pull down here. So I can send uh, Ethereum, uh, I can buy Ethereum, I can receive Ethereum. So in here, um, and you can select your different accounts. So what you'll need to do is, uh, I guess on your account one after you send the money and get your confirmation, you go to Ether Delta and you can select MetaMask. So you can select accounts here. Um, you'll need to select MetaMask. So if it, if it doesn't detect MetaMask, just refresh Ether Delta and it should show up. Um, if not, just refresh MetaMask, but eventually they should sync up and you should be able to go here and select your account. From there, it'll show exactly how much Ethereum that you have and you can deposit Ethereum inside as well, the exchange. So here's how much I have on my computer with with MetaMask and this is the amount I have on the decentralized exchange which is Ether Delta. So now let's add our token here where I have the the different the, the cryptocurrency or the token and I'm going to click other and here I just put in my address and the name of the token so I'll go and grab the address So I'll click there and then put the name of the coin, zero decimals, and click OK. Now, Korea coin will show up here. And as you can see, there's no market activity, there's no nothing, but it's recognized. And so what you'll need to do then is actually uh, send some Korea coin to your account. So you'll click on MetaMask and you'll click here and you'll get your address. You'll say copy address to clipboard. From there, you will then need to go over to your token and your tokens page and then click transfer down here. And then you can click on send to address, paste in the address, make sure you have the 0x there in front, and then say how much you want to send. So I'm going to send 20,000 and confirm say for exchange and then simply click transfer and if I have enough in my account so for a transfer it costs about 0 0.01 ether so I'll go back over here and eventually as soon as the the, the coins pop up uh, I will I will see that eventually once the transaction is confirmed it takes about a minute or two I can see my 20,000 coins that are now here, but I have zero in my Ether Delta account on the exchange. So I'm going to transfer all of those over. So I'm going to put 20,000 and then click deposit. And then it will ask me MetaMask because it's connected to Ether Delta. Uh, and I'm going to submit the, that request and then I'll put it on the blockchain. And so that will then create a few transactions. And from there, eventually I'll see that I have a balance of zero and that Ether Delta has a balance of uh, 20,000. 20, I'm not sure if you saw that little quick switch, but that was uh, an update. And now Ether Delta has uh, that amount on the exchange, and that's in my account on Ether Delta. So my account has the twenty thousand, and now I can create a sell order. So I'm going to say I'm selling ten thousand. And Ether Delta doesn't like commas, so just ten thousand, and I can put the price per. So I can put point zero one. That's how much I'm going to charge. I've decided. And then you can go down and click sell. So this is the price for all of them. So if I sold all of these, I would get 100 Ether. Click sell. And it'll ask if you want to sign the transaction. So you'll click sign. And it'll say you sent an order to the order book. And now other people, if you go to the URL at the top, um, you can't see mine, but it generates a URL. You can share this URL with anyone and they can come in and they can actually see uh, your buy and sells and they can 
participate in the Korea coin to Ethereum exchange. And if you get enough volume and you're you know in the top 50 or 100 or so, then you'll actually be listed. But you'll need you'll need the volume first. All right, I've refreshed the page, and just so if this looks a little different to you, you can click these buttons up here to switch between dark and light to kind of get your uh, your pref your preferred view. We'll be adding features like this actually to proof so that you can kind of change how you want to look at everything. So now I can see that there's an, there's an order book and I can see the the price for all, etc. How, how much is available uh, and how much I can buy for. So now I'm going to do a buy order. I'm going to do two and I want to buy at this price and I'll click buy. And then click sign. And it'll say I sent an order to the order book. And now, as soon as that gets confirmed, there's an order. So if anyone sells the token for 0 0.005, I'll pick that up. And if I want, I can go ahead and buy one myself. Because that's the current price. I'll click buy. It'll ask me to confirm that. And I'll click sign and there you go and that's and then other people can come in and create orders and you can fill this whole order book up um, either yourself by just creating a bunch of orders and then other people can begin to trade your coin so that's essentially how to do it now let's say you want to customize your contract you can simply go to proof dashboard down here find my my token and then I can grab the smart contract, copy it, and then I can go to ethereum.github.io slash browser solidity, paste in my, my, my contract, and from here, because I have MetaMask there, you'll want to click Injected Web3. That'll connect with MetaMask. If it doesn't connect, just refresh. You'll still have your code there. It'll see the injected Web3. It'll take a while to load up. You'll be able to then click on Create. It'll say Waiting for Transaction to be Mined. And it will actually ask you if you would like to create the transaction. So you're able to then click submit. And if you if I click submit, which I'll just go ahead and do right now, it'll cost me about $5. But if you click submit, it'll actually create that transaction. And then boom. Uh, but the cool thing is you can change little things. For example, your total supply, your symbol here, uh, you can change your decimals. So decimals is by default. Uh, and, and the way decimals work is, uh, let's say you want to make your coin divisible, like by 18, like you want to have 0. 0.00008 of your coin, but you issue 2 billion, but you want people to be able to trade it in really, really small, small pieces. Uh, just add however many decimal places you want. Uh, and you can find that over here. Uh, right after total supply so decimals equals zero so you can switch this to five eight twenty uh, the standard is usually somewhere between eight um, and sixteen but uh, for the kind of tokens like asset back tokens it's probably simpler just to, to do zero and this is how to get your custom smart contract or a contract created by proof on the blockchain and ready to go Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and we look forward to putting out new features and getting your feedback to improve the overall blockchain ecosystem.